Jasmine and Mitch. Okay, there she is. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The, the Jasmine, Jasmine Show. Uh, I'm Jazz. And I'm Vince, and we're here to talk about Married at First Sight, season 17 in Denver, right? Mm-hmm. Episode. Don't know. Don't care. She don't. Decision date, part one. <laughs> she don't know, and she don't care. We're back for your very, very favorite show. Uh, I had to force Jazz. I couldn't even force Jazz. I can't force my queen to do it. Uh, she really did not want to talk about Married at First Sight last week. I'm done week. with this show. She did... <laughs> I'm so done with this show. She really did not want to talk about it last week. So I still have some notes from last week also, if you want to. You, what? Nothing happened. But, uh, yeah. Decision Besides day, Michael and Chloe. Decision day round one. The fate of the couple's futures rests on their answers for decision day. With the weight of such a heavy decision on their shoulders, some look to find peace within their relationship, as my Jasmine yawns, while others peace. look to find a way forward and stay married. Who's staying married, Jess? Nobody. Uh, don't look like it. Don't look like it. Right? Uh, to get into it, uh, well, thank you if you've been watching with us this whole season. We're sorry, y'all. We're sorry. I, we shouldn't be apologizing. It's, if you watch this fault. whole season, you're a good one. It's their fault. It's I'm really struggling fault. to watch this. It's their fault. Uh, we uh, actually watched Married at First Sight before Love is Blind this week because we wanted to get it over with. And uh, I'm happy we did. Happy we did. We'll bring in a Love is Blind video shortly also. But uh, to get into it, yeah, let's get into these crazy. What are we talking about? Crazy couples. What are we talking about? I'm waiting for you to get to the point because it's not that much. To talk it's about. really not. It's really not. I'm overdoing it right now. This could be a short episode, but uh, last time we saw Beck and Austin, they were just crying about uh, she doesn't know if he likes her off camera or on camera or whatever. And I think she said something like, "Believe what people do and not what they say." Uh, and also, even in Decision Day, they were discussing how she makes him look bad on camera. Cause she's always crying. No, she's always. She was discussing it. He never said anything about it. He really didn't. But that that from the last episode spilled over into this one where they had that little side argument that was still on camera, but it was off camera. Like, I just feel like that it was crazy to to not understand why he felt that way. Obviously, we don't know everything. We don't know all the details, you know. But for him to be in a position where. You know, every time you see me, I'm on camera with my wife bawling her eyes out. Well, stop making your wife cry. Bawling <laughs> <kidding>. her, <laughs> bawling her eyes out. Talk about how he doesn't understand, how he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. Uh, I thought I had a clip of her crying, but this is actually just them on decision day. Yeah, get the yawns out, babe. Get the yawns out. <sighs> boring. And it was it was pretty boring, but all in all. Uh, in the beginning of the episode, he said that he wanted to say yes if, you know, if she feels the same, but he's not sure how she feels. Uh, she cried about the optics convo, of course, a little bit more. Uh, and then she hit us with, I want to say no to how our marriage has been, but I want to say yes to him. And Dr. Fee is like, so is that a, is that a yes? She uh, eventually said yes. And he's like, oh, really? Did, yeah. did, like, he kind of wanted to say yes, too. But he, did he think that You she... could tell he wanted to just say of yes. Of course. Um, but we're going to come back to to what happened after that. Cause... Are we? Let's talk about it now. Because it has to do with all the couples. Does all it? All right, but fine. Anyway, yes. so basically, you got the Spider-Man meme? <laughs> I don't have the Spider-Man So basically, meme. what happened is... All the couples met up, or all the singles, and one couple, Michael and Chloe, who uh, haven't had decision day, meet up, and they're all, like, pointing the... F- it was basically, like... And you said this, and, well, you don't talk about that. I know you're not talking about Everybody arguing about what went wrong and what everybody's you know about relationship. Intimacy? What you 
and everybody jumping down somebody's throat Bring a and back. and apparently Becca who said it Claire said Claire always saying something Claire said that somebody has seen Austin out and he was out with with Brennan I think and one of the producers mm. so I was like I'm missing it like what's snitching. the issue with that like they could be recording more like I'm like what does that mean so basically Becca waited for all of the group to get all together to confront him and I will say she did have a point because when she said hey like where did you go last night he was like uh, uh, uh. Uh, I went out. I'm like, mm, you you a bad liar. Sound like Jeremy. Yeah, he sounded like he's about to lie. <laughs> so then she was like, so were you out? Like, was there any producers there? Da, da, da. Like, she's asking the questions. And based on how she asked the questions, like, he should have known he was in trouble. He should have. And he should have known that she knew the answers to the questions already. So he says, no. He basically lies and said that he wasn't out with a producer, but he was out with a producer. Why lie? And I was like, all the girls started jumping down his throat. And I'm just like, why would you confront your husband if you care about this person that much? Yeah, in front of And everybody. you just said uh, yesterday or whatever that you want to stay married and work on your marriage and you don't want it to be where it was before. Why would you not even give him the opportunity if you think that the issue is the cameras? You didn't even give him the opportunity to show something different without the cameras. Nope. You confront him in front of everybody, which I think it should have been a a private conversation. Of course. And Off then, camera. And then breaks up with him in front of everybody. It's like, well, I thought it was, but it's just not going to work. And I'm like, so you, blind, you confronted him. He did lie. And then you break up with him in front of everybody and blindside him. And I'm just like, I don't think that was fair. And I don't think that was the way to handle it. But that basically... Did a snowball effect. The only two people that that kind of made up was Brennan and uh somehow and Emily somehow. Uh, so let's get into uh Brennan and Emily. Uh, they had. I feel like, I feel like we thought it. We thought it was gonna get heated. It did. It it did it, it, it heated up a little bit, but I feel like not as much as as we have seen from them uh as much. Uh, in the last episode, we saw them have that weird, cryptic, and con- condescending conversation, which, uh, oh, I did, I think I did have that, or I might have deleted it off my computer, I don't know. But they was talking smack to each other on FaceTime, and it was, uh, it was interesting. It was interesting to see how it turned out, and clearly they wasn't vibing with each other. Clearly they, that, that was it for them. So this time, I don't know how long it has been since they have spent time together, but Right when they walked in, you know, they both look sharp and good and stuff like Emily that. Emily did look good. Uh, and the second they sit down, Dr. Pepper's like, all right, look, so <laughs> let's wrap this up. Let's get this over with right now. Uh, she hit them with, uh, you know, we always want to see happy couples, but if we could leave out of here with like a little personal growth, you know, some knowledge for the next relationship, I'm cool. I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> I was annoyed at that because I'm like, y'all are supposed to be the experts that are providing worthwhile marriage. It's an and experiment. neither of these people was giving I'm ready for marriage. So I'm looking at them crazy yeah. because it's like, they're like, oh, you're not taking accountability. You're not taking accountability. But y'all are not taking accountability for putting together people that are not ready for marriage either. Yo, now, it's different. I don't, you can... You can run down the street naked with a flag that says I'm ready for marriage, Mm -hmm. but that does not mean you're ready for marriage. Like there are things that will show that someone is, even if you think you're ready for marriage, you still might. Nobody's ever ready for marriage. So I'm like, we talking about accountability and granted, I feel like they were, I think that the experts in Emily was super hard on Brennan yeah, I... and they let Emily off so light. I don't like Brennan and I don't like Emily, but I think that when he said that she's negative and it's a turnoff, he was correct. But I think what he should have said is she's a hater. Emily is a hater. She's is a hater. And I, com- I totally get it. <laughs> 
Because most of the time I'll watch a show and I'm like, oh, I, I, could see, I feel like that person will be interesting to be around. Emily is somebody I never want to see. Like, I never, I would never hang around somebody like Emily. It's like, she always has something negative to say. He did not lie. We agree that she's, like, it seems in certain relationships or situations, she is very optimistic. She is optimistic. But she's a hater. But she's a hater, and she, she does, don't know how to shut her mouth. She does right hater time. things. She, you know, carry I, a hater bag and probably wear hater shoes and go have ooh, hater kids. Okay. Like, okay. It's an old Kanye, bro. You just giving all that. Okay. It's a, yeah. That's, it's just the aura that she gives off. Yeah, so. And she looked like a daddy. But I feel like the, it wasn't fair that they were like, oh, so Brennan, you need to take some accountability and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like. Do I think he tapped out early? And yes. do I think he was trying to save face to get to decision day? Yes. He kept saying, I'm trying to, I was trying to, to protect you, protect her, protect her, protect her. But she had repeatedly said, and I will give Emily that she was like, in you protecting me, you're in turn hurting me. Yeah. And he said, if I would have known that protecting your feelings and not telling you or like saying offensive things to you would have ended up in the same scenario then i probably would have just told you but she everybody was saying to just say it even pastor kyle was like i'm gonna call bs because i came i'm sorry after- can, can i say this I, I don't know i mean i'm a pastor but i smell bs is that okay to say <laughs> yo honestly hey, I, like, that was crazy i feel like dr pia was <laughs> waiting to go in oh yeah because she already i feel like she already felt disrespected from from Brennan before what she was and Absolutely. I get that. Absolutely. But I think that Emily got off so easy and Emily was not a saint in the least. Nah. In the least. So y'all know I'm not team Emily, I'm not team Brennan, but I think that that would they did him a little dirty. Like there should have been some accountability on both sides and I feel like she didn't take any accountability in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Well, if you feel that way, I don't know what to say. I guess I guess I'm sorry. So basically when the, they was having the couple brawl <laughs> the couple brawl. Oh, oh I was getting into when she hit him with you know what you sorry for? It was giving <laughs> mom is what it was giving. Apologizing, "Oh, why are you sorry?" Like bit. I'm like, so this is the instances where I'm like, he didn't even apologize. He said, I'm sorry that it made you feel that way. He didn't say I'm apologizing for my actions. Two different things. Big different thing. Uh, I do want to get into a couple, bro, but she mentioned something about deleting diary cams. He told her to, to delete diary cams supposedly because I guess... You know how he was trying to control like what she would say? It made him look bad. This is the first time we're hearing about that though, right? Yes. Okay, I just want to be sure about that. It was, uh, I feel like it was kind of insinuated before that he was controlling what she was saying. That part is true. He definitely was. How did they do in the brawl? Which, again, they 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 left, you know, kind of cordially, I would say. It was, it was did they hug? I, don't I, I don't think know. they did. They might have hugged. They might have hugged. Uh, but, yeah, it seemed cool when they left. But the heat was on at that couple, bro. How did they do? What, what, what kind of jabs did they throw? I don't, it wasn't no real jazz. Oh. It was more like a like Brendan was talking about taking time to reflect, and he doesn't know how long it's gonna take. And Emily was like, you know, like I just want to be you know cordial and like I appreciate this experience. I'm glad that we did it together. Um, cap. Like, let's stop it. Let's stop it right now. I'm so glad that I hope I don't have to see them. It's anymore. over. I mean, we still, there's probably still like six more episodes of Married at First Sight. I just want to talk about how everybody is fighting and Michael and Chloe was over there just like, no. Oh. Interesting. I don't have any of these problems. <laughs> well, y'all got to wait till decision day. Yeah. So. Uh, we've seen so little of Cameron that I don't even, I still, is this it? This is their original decision day. <laughs> where they originally said divorce, divorce. right? Yeah, let's, that's true. let's not do this. Let's not do this, right? Um, I don't even. They had so many them. good things to say about each other. They did. They're the most cordial for some reason. Yeah, I, I, th- th- I think other. that they were like in theory compatible, but they just wasn't really feeling each other like that. I feel like everybody in theory is compatible, which is why they, they were on the show. Yeah. I think it, I think that most of the mismatches for this show is because of 
perception versus reality. People view themselves completely different. They're sure. not as self-aware as you think they are. That's true. As they think they are. They view themselves as, oh, yeah, I'm a super patient person. And da, 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 da. You might have been patient with that one person you dated. But this person is going to trigger you in a specific way that you, your patience is going to go out of the window. Uh, so I don't think that it's accounted for. It. It's a difference between like tending to be a certain way yeah. and actually being that way. Like I know I'm a person that gets straight to business. That's period. That's in any situation. I'm getting straight to business. What's the bottom line? It's my wife. But there are situations where I will be like, okay, well, like, give you some some time and energy to get to a place to give me the bottom line. Right. But that's not my tendency. And I can't go into something and be like, oh, my tendency is to, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt and, you know, take my time when that's not really who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. And I feel like these people are saying to the experts what they think will get them matched, but... Do I want to be matched or do I want to be matched with the right person? Ah. So, yeah, I'm over it. Over it indeed. Uh, they had so many pleasantries and nice things to say about each they other. They had pleasantries. It looked like they turned up a little bit. I think he said something along the lines of he messed up the experience or something like that for her. Mm-hmm. And he basically, long story short, said he wanted a divorce because he views her like as a very special family member. I can't, I can't go back from that. Uh, yo, that's my cousin right there. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not touching that ever again. Uh, good luck to y'all, man. Good luck to you. I don't have nothing else to say about them. You know, at the brawl. Yeah. What What happened? Did Claire start the brawl? Mm, no, started Becca the brawl. started it, Becca and Claire started. jumped in, right. and I should have got some everybody else. Right. But guess late at first. Sight. But Cameron got upset because Claire was like, "Yeah, because Cameron tried to what was the word censor." I think censor. Censor me as well. He said, oh, how did I get in it? He was like, hold on. What we not going to do is bring me into it. Talking about I censored you because that didn't happen. If anything, you censored me. So I was like, Cameron, like, let me get out of here. Me and my heart issue. Let me, let me go ahead. Yeah. I was like, yo, why he breathing so hard? This man worked up. Uh, he oh, was. I completely forgot that he had. Yeah. And then what made it funny was, was, uh, Somebody said, where did Cameron go? And Claire was like, yeah, he probably like, I think he left or whatever. And and Austin was like, yeah, maybe it might have, uh, if you have a heart issue, you probably shouldn't be getting worked up. <laughs> like, Maybe. I'm like, mm, a mess. A mess. Indeed. I don't have anything else about anybody else. Uh, I just wanted to say that in the last episode, we did do it. Do we have hope for Michael and Chloe still? It seemed mm-hmm. like there's always there's always gonna be something. It seemed like they get into the sex at least. Damn. Yeah, in the last episode we saw them talking with uh Dr. Pia. Did anybody have sex this season? I feel like if they did, it was that's it was talked about the least because they nobody barely, had sex. They barely babe. survived. They barely survived. Uh we nobody do, had sex. Babe. We do know that Michael and Chloe have had sex. In the preview, it looked like they did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they Dr. Priya visited them to talk about intimacy. Uh, they showed a little clip of them getting freaky deaky on the couch with the pups. Oh, yeah, that was a bit you much. You forgot about that, right? I was like, I don't need to see this. This is very much giving HBO After Dark. We uh, She challenged them to, uh, to get three items from the sex shop. And uh, we discovered that on a scale of vanilla wafer to ultra freak michael believes he's a 6.5 which i don't know that's pretty solid i think that's a solid score but uh he's open to trying new things and also he wants to taste like a maple bar i wrote that down in my notes for some reason because it was like a condom or something that was hey hey do what you wish do what you wish uh aside from that i don't have anything else to say about them except that they looked pretty cozy chilling on the couch uh and i guess we're just hopeful and like damn like i really hate to see all these couples like really going through it in this in this manner it looks like lauren and orion gonna try to be friends they did leave that door open i thought that was interesting please close it they left that door open uh but yeah the only other thing i had was that yeah i'm again 
we're sorry, y'all. We're really sorry if you had to watch this. This season was bad, y'all. And so I bad. realized at the end, specifically in that scene with the, what did you call it again? The couple's brawl? Yeah, Spider-Man. Specifically, <laughs> specifically in that scene that this this logo right here is, is very accurate because, where is it? There you go. That logo is very accurate because I, we felt like we were drudging, is drudging the right word, through the season. Uh, and we didn't like it and we were miserable, but Listen. I realized it's cause they were freaking, they were, well, they had so much to say about each other, yo. They were so miserable and it's finally all coming to the light and I can't wait for it to be over. It was draining. The only reason I watched the season is cause of you guys. It was for yes. you. It was for y'all. It was for, it was for you. I'm so selfless. Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, cause it was tough out here. It was tough. But I've been enjoying Love Is Blind, so that will be up later. We have. Had... Please let us know if you guys are watching something else, because this show might be a dub at this point. This show, yeah, the show is done. Let us know if there's anything else that you would like us to watch. Uh, really briefly, uh, we haven't done any ratings in a while because these couples are trash. But only way Jasmine gives somebody a ten is obviously if they're good and if they also both say yes on decision day there's one couple that managed to say yes on decision day and then say no like two days later no rating <laughs> pass the cast says zero <laughs> chloe and michael are getting the seven i love that As they right stayed now. in that conversation yeah. and said nothing yeah. <laughs> the only time i saw michael is is when uh who was it? Becca said, one of the girls said something like, all the men are, are like uh, censoring their women. And Michael was like, <laughs> like, you feel I'm censoring you then? <laughs> he didn't say anything, right. but he's like, nah, she can't be talking about me. So. <laughs> never that, never that. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, if, if you're done, Jasmine, I'm, I'm done as well. We get to love is blind uh, and we'll have a video to you guys shortly. Uh, if you've been watching this entire time and this entire season, let us know how you feel about it in the comments. Right? As a matter of fact, please make sure you take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially if you're new here, and we really, really appreciate that. It's over, y'all. There's still more. Mostly, over. we really, honestly feel like the uh, tell-all-ish episodes. Bring, That's what I want. First see. off, bring Keisha back. That decision day preview was. Eh, it was nice to see the old couples. But yeah, the tell-all, we feel like, is where the tea will be spilled for real. So we'll be uh, on the lookout for that. Uh, if anything else, we will see you guys on a brand new episode of The Jasmine, the Jasmine Show. Show. Peace. Peace, y'all. Jasmine and Benjamin. Um, the, the Jasmine, Jasmine Show. Show.